Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. And now, if my sand steel is gone, I'm gonna have to head back to the Gerudo. I also want to get this rush room here. We're gonna do a little bit more exploring in Gerudo Desert for now. I'm gonna guess that the sand steel's gone. Yeah, it looks like it. I could just walk on foot, but sand steel just makes things go by a lot faster. And, uh, I also don't have the sand boots, or whatever they are, sandals, to make walking on sand easier. Which is unfortunate, but I don't think I could have done much better. Let's seal the deal. Okay, so, we're going to head out into the middle of nowhere, basically. So let's just get going. And see what we can find. Starting off, there's a little place over this way that we can head to. Which will probably have some good stuff for us. But we also need to be careful when we're exploring the desert. Very careful. Because there are, are monsters that roam. Basically, and appear quite often. Moldugo is one of them. It is the main one, because it will appear quite a lot. Okay, get to higher ground. It's not that bad, but still. Just randomly, just have running into it will happen a lot, so. Is there anything up here that I need to worry about? I feel like there should be. But I don't know what I'd be looking for if there were was something up here. Now, I need to also check these pillars to see if they've got any rocks in them for Koroks. Just because that's the main thing. Oh, I missed it. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off when there's a Moldugo here. They don't tend to go away once they, they've started hunting you. It really doesn't seem like there's any... Koroks here, yeah, but maybe I can't actually see what it, whatever they would be hiding in because sometimes they can be just there. But I guess I would see the sparkling. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I should go check them all. I guess I would go check them all. I can also take out the Moldugo. I guess I do need to do that a little bit. It can hear sound, so if you're walking on the ground near it, you will you'll know where you are, which could be concerning. But what you want to do, probably, is just throw out a, a round bomb. And you'll hear it, go towards it, and... Eat it, and then you can explode it. And then it's going to stun it for a bit, so let's go do some damage. Now, what do I want to use? I guess I'll use a Royal Claymore. So let's just spin. Urbosa's Fury, of course, is very useful against, against them, but still. Whenever one's nearby, you want to get to a little bit of higher ground so you don't get eaten by it. Oh my goodness, why do you shoot me? Okay, let's finish you off. If I can. I should be able to do enough damage to not have to use a Bosa's Fury, so let's just do that, and... There we go. There we go. Very nice. Had a lot of stuff inside of it. And we'll have a look at that once I get rid of these extra enemies that are just really annoying. Oh my goodness. I hate Stalfo's enemies. They just appear and take up all of my time. Okay. It also has, um chests inside of it. Molduga fin, a sturdy fin obtained from a Molduga. It can be used to make elixirs, but there are maybe someone willing to trade for it. Yes indeed. 
Molduga guts, a giant organ obtained from a Molduga. This invaluable ingredient is hard to come by, and its use is shrouded in mystery. That seems to be everything it dropped in terms of parts. Also a golden bow. This Grudo made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs. Des designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow was engineered to strike distant targets. I'm pretty sure that's how every bow is, but alright then. Oh, I've already got a golden bow. Can I- have I taken a picture of a golden bow? I have. In the other chest... ...is the knight's shield. I guess that's good because I broke a different shield at some point. But anyway... Oh, of course it's a good bow. You can actually hit things from a distance. But yeah, now that we've fought a Molduga, be prepared to do it a lot more because they spawn all the time when you're just walking through the desert. Okay, that's a fake. Or is it just because it's in the ground? No, it is a fake. Blow up. Why? Why? There we go. Give me your everything. Why can't I explode a bomb when I'm rolling around on the ground in pain? <laughs> I feel like there's something wrong with that. Oh, why am I cold now? Oh, because it's night and I, this armor doesn't work very well at night. Apparently. But that's okay. Let's keep checking these... Uh, pillars. Just to make sure that there are no Coroxia. There might not be any Coroxia, but I I have to check. Because more... Uh, weapon space would be great. But I need a lot more Korok seeds for that. Okay, the last one. Also, I think... I'm not sure if I still have my Sand Seal. That might have ran away when the Molduga attacked. I can understand that. Okay. Nothing else up here. Let's head down. Is that a sparkle over there? I think this is just a treasure chest. So if my... If my sand seal is still around, I can take that and go places. But if it isn't, I'm going to be having to walk on foot from now on. Looks like it's gonna be that way. Alright, well, I'm gonna just quickly also go up here to double check that there's nothing up here of value anymore. I mean, there's trees, but I... How did I not notice that? There's just a... There's just a balloon up in the tree. There's just... I've probably never got that Korok before. Okay, then. Well, that's that Korok for this place. The one place they never look up. Until they look up where it is. I'm so funny. Um. That way. That way. I think there is. A few. No? Guess not. Dragon's Exile. I think there's also another landmark. I guess it's over here, there, so let me go over to there. What is that? Oh, that's two treasure chests. Those are the- those are the- the treasure chests I just- okay. That makes sense now. Those are the Molduga treasure chests. Anyway, let's keep walking now. To these ruins. Need to make sure I- get there before another Molduga shows up. Because they just, they just turn up. Okay, keys, die. There's also some warm Saflina over this way apparently. Now what is this place called? I think it, oh, there's a Molduga. You can see it. Arbiter's Grounds. Actually, I really like 
that this is called the Arbiter's Grounds because of Twilight Princess. Okay, so, let's do this again. I've still got my Royal Claymore equipped. I think actually I might switch over to my Ancient Balax++ plus plus because it's got a lot of damage on it. Here we go. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! And done in one cycle. Very nice. Let's get our rewards. Only one treasure chest this time. With a royal halberd on it. But I'm just gonna leave it and if I can, please. It also drops a Molduga. No, that's a Molduga fin. Okay, I thought that was gonna be an actual weapon. Also, what's this over here? There's just a rock with ore around it, I guess. Do I have something to smash that open? I don't think I do. Oh, I do have the the stone smasher, which I think is a uh, one of a kind weapon, but that's okay. Just gonna smash through all of this. It looks like this should break if I break all this off, but I don't think it will. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. It would have been cool if it broke though. There is, however, a cork on top. So obviously want to grab that. Okay, I think that's everything in the Arbiter's Grounds area here. So let's place a marker probably in a few places. There. Also, I don't know what's in the skulls. I might also go there. There's a lot of, a lot of places. I might also go there. Although, I don't know. There's a lot of places that I probably don't need to go to. But marking stuff on your map is pretty good at, at the first, so. Let's head towards the blue mark and never stop walking towards that blue mark, otherwise I'm going to get lost in this dust storm in front of us. What is that sound? I don't know what that sound is supposed to be, and it's concerning. Because it happens all the time. Is it like a shooting star thing? I don't know. Is it just there to tell me that monsters are spawning? I really just don't know. Oh my goodness. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Just gonna grab some more extra stuff, I guess. And now we're in the sandstorm, so we can't see anything now. We can still shield stuff forward, I guess. Hopefully not getting off track, because if we get off track, we're in trouble. Okay, let's get off that. It's not going to get us any further. I feel like I'm already off track. I'm not going towards the marker they placed down. Well, this is certainly something over here. I think that's a thing I can blow up if I had bomb arrows. Oh, I do have bomb arrows, but I don't have fire arrows, which is what I was trying to say. Oh, okay, the treasure chest came towards me. That's useful. A sapphire. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep going this way. Hopefully make it to where I'm trying to go. Yeah, I can't even see my map. So I guess you can't warp out of a sandstorm. I think I'm slightly off course of where I need to go. Get rid of these pebblets. I'm so lost already. Can't even see where I am. But there's something up there. So this must be the other skull. So I am definitely way off course right now. I think shield surfing is what put me way off course. So if I just keep going this way, maybe, I 
I can see shadows of things. But I don't know if that's what I need to follow after. I'm so lost. It's just sad how lost I am. Hopefully it doesn't teleport you around if you don't know where you are. Um. Oh wow, I can see the laser from here. So I can know which direction I'm going now. A little bit, I guess. But I think I'm still off course slightly. So somewhere over this way. I think. I hope. I think this is it. It is. Leviathan in the desert. Need to have a picture of its face, sir. Or its head. But yeah, we've made it to the great... The Greater Great Skeleton. And there's a shrine here. So let's do that. The current solution. Well, I'm... I'm probably gonna cheat then. Well, I think I'd need to put these blocks there and... There. If I can actually get it in the right spot. That's definitely not how it's supposed to be, but anyway. Okay, there. Okay, and now I go over here. And then... I should probably solve these the way they're supposed to be solved and not just take things around from places that you're not supposed to take them from. And then, ah, pain. Then I can push this into there. If it doesn't roll around like that. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Okay, good. That elevator's gonna do that thing now. Now I can take this, but I need to not zap myself. I also want to grab this treasure chest from down here. Probably don't want to have it right next to the orb of electricity. Ancient core. I can also probably get rid of these guardians before having to deal with them. There we go. Now I need to be careful walking past these because I think it's going to zap the floor if I'm not careful. Oh, that's interesting. There's a little pathway. Oh, there's that up there. Okay, so... Also, I could just... I could just do this. Why am I not doing this? Okay. Why not just floating it in the air so it doesn't zap anything? Anyway, treasure chest. With a gold rupee in it. Very nice. We actually have, oh, just under enough to get the full gear thing that I want to get, the whole ancient gear. The entire ancient gear. Can I not move that? Hang on. I'm supposed to be able to get that out. Excuse you? Is it just... That's glitched. That's, that's glitched. That's 100% glitched. Pull. Push. Up. Down. Left. Right. That's stuck. Cool. <sighs> Why? Well, then I guess I'll have to figure something else out. Can I actually get this over this? I don't think I can. I don't think I can get it high enough, no. So this one's not as broken as the other one. I mean, it's still broken, considering. But then why... Uh... Is there some... I can probably use this to try and push it out. 
and see if that works. Also, otherwise, we're going to have to figure out something else. Push. Push. I mean, I'm creating enough sparks, right? That should be able to mean I can open up the other thing. There we go. Oh my goodness. Orb. I saved it somehow. I don't even know how I saved it. Anyway. Let's get this into position. Okay, so, we put this here, and then we get that moved down. Oh my goodness, this is confusing me. Do that. Is that right? No. So, I need to have it moved down a bit, and then... I don't even know. Because those aren't separate blocks, that's one block. I guess I can do something like that a little bit. If I can do it a little bit better than that. I also could do a stasis. Try and... No, there are separate blocks. Okay, so that's interesting. So, then let's just... Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Hang on. So I need to, like, stasis that one in the middle at the right time so that it stops the one on top. But then that's gonna be very... that's very complicated. Okay, now... Not quite. But that works! Uh, it's not gonna work though, because it's gonna just gonna turn off and yeah. Wait, does it stay fixed? It stays solved. Good. I'm glad it stays stays solved once it's done. Because that means I don't have to solve the puzzle. I just need to get it to fix itself it get it get it get it to do a thing at what some point and then use it. <sighs> I don't know what I just said, but it was definitely words. Anyway, let's try to <laughs> I pushed it into the thing and it somehow clicked into place. Hang on. That's not how physics are supposed to work, right? I can't just pop it in. Hang on. If I put it on top of this... Oh my goodness, it's falling. Okay, so if I put it like there, it's gonna fall into place. No. I don't know what I did to make that happen just now, but anyway. Just gonna put it like there. Okay, it just pops on. That okay, cool. I don't I didn't check to see if I got all the treasure chests. Also that's there by the way. Now did I get all of the treasure chests. I did. Cool. Great. Can I unpin those since I already went to them? Let's have a look at this. There's also just warm Saflina here, which is nice. And also electric Saflina and just all of the good stuff. Cool Saflina. I don't actually know if that's how you say its name, but that's how I'm going to say it. And also, in, in, the, in the middle of this thing is safe for you to just be in, mostly. Somewhat, I guess. So anyway. Sweet boy, please. Listen to my story. Sure. 
I am the great fairy Terra. Bull. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 10,000 rupees. Ha! <sighs> Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. I have the rupees. Please hand them over to me quickly. Here you go! Don't have enough rupees. 10,000? 10,000. 10... Thousand. What and why and just. Did I go to that already? No. There's a lot of things over here to go check, I guess. Need to also go over here, I think. I might see if I can. What have I got in my inventory? <laughs> Do I have stuff I can sell? I can't, I'm never going to get that ancient armor. Um, I have a few ancient or rare materials. I should probably go fight. Oh, it's hot. I need to change my clothing. Okay, um, I need a lot of rupees. So let's just head up north and see if I can find some of these pins on my map. I'm, I just don't think I'm gonna have enough rupees from selling anything. I'll, I'll figure it out. But right now I need to run a long way. Which one's the closest? Green. I may go to green. I have to go through the sandstorm again. Hello. Goodbye. He's trying. And there's the laser beam. I'm surprised I can see that much of it from here. Hopefully I didn't go off course anywhere. Right out of stamina. That's fine. There's nothing threatening me right now. Okay. I actually made it to where it needs to go. Pretty much perfect. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the sandstorm at the moment, so... Let's just go ahead and look at this. That's a... Explody Barrels. I wonder if you can use explosion, the, the powder, powder cake barrels to explode the Molduga. Probably not, but yeah. Wow, this is actually a really strange angle to be seeing places. There are a lot of exploding barrels up here. I wouldn't be able to see... Oh, there's a Molduga over there. Okay, let's get out my weapon again. Well, let's see how well this will go. Let's go! Please, 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 please. Oh, it, it broke and I'm on fire and this is not good. Oh, why are you existing? Oh, I need to get out of here now before it grabs me. Oh, it's right there. Ah! I'm up here now. Get up, Link. Link, 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 Link. Blink. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, go. I might also want to eat some food before I die. Here we go. Oh, it's charging. It's doing a different move. I can still blow it up, though. So let's go down and do some damage if I can.
Go and done. I'm gonna grab this while I'm here as well. Okay. Mulduga done. Now for another one to just turn up two seconds later. Which I would not be surprised by. Robo. Don't need it. What is that? Oh, it's a bird. Also, I can just see markers. When I zoom in, can I do that in a sandstorm? Because if so, that's kind of broken. Anyway, this is just a regular treasure chest over here as well. Moonlight Scimitar. Okay, let's go to the blue marker now. There's some of these little rocks in the ground I could check for Koroks, but I don't think there are going to be any. So I'm just going to grab this treasure and just keep moving. I need a lot of rupees, so... A lot of rupees. 14,000 rupees for the stuff that I need to do at the moment. Because I still need 4,000 for the ancient armor. And so yeah, this is this is going to be a thing for a while. I guess I could try doing some stuff for grinding. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh, there goes the stuff. What fell out? Baked palm fruit. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything else over here, so let's go over to yellow, I guess. Which one is yellow? Is it one of those ones? Also, the red marker is just nothing. There's that sound effect again that I don't know what it is. I guess it is one of those. Interesting. Must have just poked out of the ground enough to actually make it a possible marking a place for me to go to on my map. Blow up that treasure chest. I don't know what was inside of it, but it's gone now. <laughs> go check this over here then. Scare off this sand seal. Hey, there really isn't anything on these, apparently. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Anyway, let's head over to the purple marker now. But I think that's also going to be it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you... No, I missed. I'll see you next time. Just going to quickly get rid of this guy since he's here. There we go. Yeah, I'll see you all next time.